I'm one of the tutors at Guru Lab. I'm an English literature graduate from King's College London. Upon graduating, I taught in a public secondary school and have accumulatively taught over 300 students. I also trained to be a PP3 English marker. What I love about teaching is the idea of identifying and developing potential in my students. Therefore, I think that it's really important for them to learn in a safe and supportive environment for their growth. In order to do that, I try to tailor explanations and activities to meet them where they are while challenging them to go beyond. Here's what a class looks like. Like a level one, so maybe you're, this is, you know, my, my chili like analogy, maybe you're not super spicy, right? So you're at level one. But if you are mild, you think my speaking ability is so, so okay lah. Uh, maybe you're at level three. So this is one, two, three, four. Your speaking ability is like pretty hot. Um, you are on fire, almost on fire. But five, you're like on fire when you speak. Um, you just, um, yeah, amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to launch a poll um, just to see like, yeah, what, oh, hang on, let me launch my poll. Um, so the second component, like I mentioned just now, is vocabulary. So what this means is that you're able to use like a range of words, maybe different, different words, and you're using those words appropriately, you're using them correctly. Adele. Adele. Number 11, a uh, future. Yes, thank you. So not future, what was it in the video? Future, but future. Thank you. And Sashin, could you pick the last person? Um, Dash, Dashin. Thank you. Uh, uh, genre. Yep. Uh, could you say that one more time, please, Dashin? Genre. Mm. Thank you. There'll be two questions, one question asking what was, uh, whether the activity we just did was fun and engaging. And another question asking if it was effective, meaning that it was helpful, you learned something. So let me unmute the share. So let's give this another 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Oh, thanks for that question, Thousand. Um, no, you don't need to save it because I'll save it. Thank you. Two. One, zero. Okay. <laughs> How can this be corrected? You can type in the chat or you can unmute the chat. That was, should be past 10, right? Mm, thanks, Nigel. Yes, so Nigel pointed out that that is, should be, that was great too. Okay. So great job, everyone. I think the suggestions that Nigel and Amilena gave earlier, earlier, whenever you do have difficulty continuing the conversation, but you want it to be effective using phrases like, let me type in the chat. There was, oh, I see. And then you are thinking, they take a bit of time before you respond. Uh, Nigel had, let me think about it. Yeah, good stuff. Instead of using this, right? So what are you doing? Um, let me think about it. Or oh, instead of a very long, mm, yeah, just what are you doing? Let me think about it. I'll get back to you later because I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. Okay, this is to show some difference. So whenever you're having a conversation, good to try to elaborate your answers, respond to the person. If they ask you a question, then answer questions and ask questions. Sorry, yeah. And ask questions as well. So don't just always answer questions, right? But you can also ask them questions like, what did you do? I did this. Have you read this? Um, and so you can have like one person talking, answering, asking, answering, and it goes back and forth. But I would love if I could get two volunteers to try this dialogue out uh, to, you know, try being natural, practice your pronunciation. Does anyone want to volunteer someone to be Raja and someone to be Cleo? I can be Raja. Okay, thank you, Nigel. Does anyone want to be cute? I can. Okay, great. Thanks. So we have Nigel and Ika. Okay. Uh, Nigel and Ika, whenever you okay, rather than whenever you're ready, because it may take a while. Are you ready to start? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Cleo. I heard that it's your birthday soon. 
Yes, I'm turning 15 in two days. I'm really excited to celebrate my birthday and I finally get to spend it with my friends and family after being in lockdown for almost two years. Oh, that's great. Yeah, the lockdown was really boring. I start watching K-drama to fill my time. What do you uh, do to your fill, fill your time? I watch K-dramas too. 